A new law clamping down on political advertising is only 24 hours old, but already it's creating more fuss. A billboard's gone up attacking Helen Clark for backing the Electoral Finance Act. But it didn't hang around for long in the heart of Labour Party territory. This from Deputy Political Editor Francesca Mould. A new billboard going up, comparing a Fijian dictator to our Prime Minister. <laughs> You've got to laugh, haven't you? <laughs> we have a country with the most amazing liberty and I will defend that to my last breathing moment. Of course we're not saying she's a dictator. What we're saying though is this is a bad step towards a more authoritarian New Zealand. The Coalition of Free Speech, set up by former National Party advisor David Farrar, is behind the billboard, erected in a Mangere school ground. But just minutes later, his media booking agency discovered the school didn't like that at all. It seems there's a government policy that billboards that they call controversial are not allowed on Ministry of Education property. So down it came and off to a new site in Mount Wellington. Three billboards are planned, costing $18,000. But the new law says you can only spend 4000 on candidate advertising, 12000 on a party. David Farrar's campaign is supported by dozens of donors, including some heavy hitters like former national leader Don Brash and business roundtable's Roger Kerr. Very proud to have some supporters who are right wing and wealthy, but if you look at the list, the donations they've given us are sort of $200, $250. It's the same old people, same old message. I'd have thought more of them if they'd put the money into a charity for Christmas. The government's setting up an expert panel to review electoral administration, and it's accepted the Greens' idea of involving voters in that, so New Zealanders can look forward to being randomly selected to join a citizen's jury. Francesca